since I did my bike reveal for this uh, 2020 Yamaha MTL9 that I bought brand new, you know, a lot of you viewers commented on, you know, talking about an old video that I did talking about why I would never buy a Yamaha MTL9 or MT10. And you're like, Psycho Cruiser, what's up with that, man? The problem I have with the MTL9, and I've always had with the MTL9 and the formerly the FZ09, is that they continue Yamaha continues to put a budget suspension on that bike and uh, they won't bring the SP version over here to America that has the better premium suspension on it uh, and the bike is just budget man they could have made that bike so much better and they can still but they probably won't for some reason for right now I really they're not on my list neither one of those bikes so I like to select exquisite bikes. Without further ado, BAM! You know, how are you gonna say you would never buy that and then BAM, you bought one. What's up with that? In this video, I'm gonna tell you, you know, why I diss the MT-09 and why I got one. So stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. It's really hot out here and I'm so glad I got this CE armor jacket that's really cheap and flows a lot of air but gives a lot of protection. Uh, if you want to get this CE armor jacket airbag vest to help keep you safe ultra lightweight helmet with auto tint shield motor vlog camera awesome shorty gloves i include links to all of my gear in the description and comment section of my video yeah baby i'll tell you oh Woo! this bike's got some torque some balls off the line boy I like that <laughs> but I tell you guys that you know what I dis what I didn't like about this bike that I saw in a lot of reviews and uh, is that the bikes the suspension was kind of was crappy uh, the throttle was on and off and uh, and everybody and their brother had one that's kind of the main reasons why I dissed the bike and why I said I, I that's why I never bought one but you know, I never tried a, a, a three-cylinder engine bike, and this bike is such a sick deal. It's cheaper than the Triumph, and they say that it's uh, it's got a lot of low-end grunt. What I want for which I want for the street, the Triumph is better if you you know for the track and for if you you want that that top-end power. Cause this they say this has got more grunt than the Triumph Street Triple. Um, but I will tell you guys that the reason that I mentioned the reasons that I had for not buying this bike are legit even now on this 2020 because I will tell you that I do not still I don't like this throttle even though they say they smoothed it out and it's better than it was before it's still not that great man but I'm gonna put out full exhaust on this bike you know full of Kropovich carbon exhaust and a tuner and, and I'm going to de-restrict it you know flash it and uh and we'll and we'll see if the throttle gets better but it's like an on off switch i don't it's weird and i've had ride by wire throttles you know on my former xd avail and tuono and this is by far the worst the uh the tuono i didn't really care for it that much but it wasn't that bad but the xd avail was legit though <laughs> then you got that torque <laughs> that was that wasn't too bad <laughs> I like that bottom end, boy. I like that, but like I said, I got this bike for the, this engine. I can always make adjustments to it. Um, but I don't care. You know, there's a reason why everybody and their brother has one of these. It's because it's a cool bike. That's 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 real. It's it's a great bike and at a great cost. But you got but you know it's a budget price, and you're gonna get some budget stuff on there that you gotta switch out. So that's I'm gonna this by the way the suspension is kind of bouncy so this rear shock definitely has got to go and I need to put it probably put a Penske or a, uh, a Olin's rear shock in 
and have the whole suspension tuned for my weight I did not okay for the record I did not tune it for my weight this is completely stock so but I wanted to, to do a review in it you know with stock straight stock but um, and this is a really weird bike though man I tell you the power is, is, is weird it's like I said this on off I wish they would have put a cable throttle on here this bike would probably be way better that's why I love my YZ450FX Supermoto because it's a, a cable throttle and it's just straight balls of the wall off the line and raw. <laughs> this is more refined and it's it's the, the on-off throttle. Is, I, I don't like it, man. It's, we Hopefully I can get that changed up a bit. But otherwise, I mean, there's a lot of great things to this bike. Um, I see why a lot of people, you know, got this bike, but... So, you know, my, my reasons are still valid, guys, you know, in that video. But I had to try it, though. I had to... You, you guys keep telling me in Comet Cycle Cruiser, get the MTL 9, get the MTL... Modify it, and I'm telling you, it's going to be legit. I can see that possibly happening, because this engine is legit, guys. It is. It's, it's legit, and I'm, I'm leaving this, this turn signal on here, which is not good. Starting that crap again. <laughs> But let's go here in the, in the twisties and see how this bike is. Um, see that? It like this is mode A with traction control one on, and uh, even with traction control off, it's it's kind of like jerky. It's weird, man. It's like you can't just stay smooth, and uh, the the Prius Tuono and Xtvel was smoother, man. Look at this thing, man. In the twisties. Woo! This thing just turns like a dime in the twisties, boy. Look at this. It's beautiful. Hey, we got a little scooter ride out here. Hey, check this guy out. He loves that American flag. I'm, I'm all for the American flag, guys, but that looks ridiculous. <laughs> but anyways, man, yeah, they... MTL 9 is pretty legit guys like I said there's some kinks to work out you know smooth it out like I said that throttle we got to get that properized and uh, we got to get a new exhaust for some sounds and uh, open this bike up flash the ECU and we'll see what it does then so it's not fair for me to you know criticize it right now too much because um, for the price you can't beat it man amazing bike it's hot as the devil out here guys i'm glad i got this c armor jacket on but anyways guys leave a comment below and tell me guys what you think on how this bike looks and uh do you think i made the right decision what do you think i should have got instead of this bike leave a comment below it doesn't matter though because i ain't getting another bike just got to make some changes it'll get better but anyways guys don't forget to subscribe to my all little motorcycle channel and check out my other channel book out moto thumbs up check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel bug out moto where i customize a van for my motorcycle so i can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere subscribe to my youtube channel bug out moto